بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with mercy and bless us to be of those that if we're given something that we become thankful and if we are tested with something that we're patient and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with all of those attributes that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is, ple- is pleased with subhanahu wa ta'ala ayyul ahbab i wanted to read something from one of our mashayikh sheikh uh, ubaid uh, ibn abdullah jabri hafizallah ta'ala which was relevant and pertinent to being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being patient when a harm comes to you. The Shaykh said, اعلموا أن الله تعالى يبتلي بنعم ليظهر الشكر الشاكرين الذين عرفوا فيها حق الله وحق عباده وعطوا كل ذي الحق حقه or haqqahu. The Shaykh said, Hafizullah Ta'ala, he said, know that Allah the Almighty tests His servants with blessings in order to make apparent those people who are thankful. The thankfulness of those people who are, are, are grateful. Those people who know the rights of Allah and the rights of His servant. And they give everyone their rightful haq or right. Ayul Ahbab the Shaykh in the first portion of what we're going to read he made he clarified for us that that can be a test when you're given uh, the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his blessings the test is whether you're going to be thankful or not and that the person who is thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they will give Allah his haq and what's the haq of Allah as it came in the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamu Alayhi the hadith of, of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu the Prophet Alayhi Salatu wa Salam was riding on a donkey with Mu'adh and he said Ya Mu'adh atadri ma haqa Allah ala ibadi wa ma haqa li ibadi ala Allah he said O oh Mu'adh do you know the right of Allah upon a slave and the right of the slave upon Allah and then Mu'adh said Allah wa, wa Rasulu a'lam he said Allah and his Messenger know best he said, He said, The right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him alone, meaning the servant worships Allah alone and does not associate any partners with him. All of your worship goes to Allah. So the haq of Allah is tawheed. The haq of Allah is tawheed. And then the Shaykh mentioned that also the same individual that's really thankful when they receive blessings from Allah is they give everyone their rightful, their, their rights. So if they're married, they give their wife her rights. Or if it's a woman, she gives her husband his rights, showing her gratefulness to Allah and her thankfulness to her husband. And if they have children, then they give their children their rights. They feed them, they clothe them, they give them their rights to be educated and their rights to have a good Islamic education and their rights to be, uh, uh, you know, of of good and and kind treatment and teaching them morals because we have an absence in morals throughout the world, ayyul ahbab. And it affects the Muslim community as well that we have so many people who don't respect their parents, who curse the elderly. Now we have a trend here in America where we have youth running around. Uh, I forgot what they call it, but they're, they're just going around and punching people for no reason. Just uh, beating them down. Even the elders, they don't care. On a subway, on the train, on the bus, outside the bus, in the terminal, 
just going and punching people. Ayul Ahbab, if this isn't lower than the animals, then I don't know what is. And where does it stem from, Ayul Ahbab? Yes, the schools play a responsibility, but it's the parents. What did the parents treat, teach them? Did their parents give them their rights? Because if they are go to that much misguidance where they go to just committing violent acts for the sake of something to do, then it shows that their ignorance reflects upon their parents not really giving them their rights and teaching them moral responsibility as a human being. So Ayat Ahbab, we can gain immense benefits from this when we give, when we're thankful to Allah and we give people their due rights and we give Allah Azza wa Jal his right to be worshipped alone. Then the Shaykh said, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, and we'll end with this aspect. He said, كَمَا أَنَّهُ يُبْتَلِي بِدِدِّهَا مِنْ مَصَائِبْ وَالْفِتْنْ فِي الدِّينِ وَعِرْدِ والنفس والمال ليظهر الصبر الصابرين الذين علموا واستقر في قلوبهم أن الله سبحانه وتعالى له حكمة البالغة والمشية النافذة والحجة الدامغة فصابروا واحتسبوا كل ما يصيبهم من مصائب عند الله في ذلك أجر then the Shaykh said, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he said, and then the opposite of that is those people who are tested with trials and tribulations in their religion, in their honor, in their selves, in their wealth. And this is in order to make apparent the patience of those people who are patient. Those people who are aware and their hearts, they have firmness in their hearts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his divine wisdom and that he has a divine will and that he has uh, a hujjah, that he, he is, he's showing them something. And that if they are patient, so then, they, so then they're patient. Because they're aware of all of these things, so then they're, a pati they're patient. And they restrain themselves and, and, and keep firm on whatever has befallen them from the various trials. And that they know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them reward and they will receive that reward. Ayol Ahbab, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those that we, if we are tested with blessings, that we are thankful. Meaning if Allah opens it up, the bab of rizq for us. If Allah opens up the, 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 the having a, a fruitful family or whatever it may be that Allah gives you from the many blessings that He gives us, that we can't even begin to count, that if He gives you this, may Allah bless you to be thankful. And if Allah tests you with some trial or fitten in your wealth, your property, in your, in your, um, your honor, that people attack your honor and attack you as a human, your, your personality and attack your, your, your character, then may Allah bless you to be of those people who are patient. And may Allah forgive us of our sins and bless us with Am Nafir, Ruskan Tayyib, Amal Al Mutakabilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.